is Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to adjust opacity for an image and or save it with a clear background. Open Krita, create or bring in the items you wish to work with. Notice all of our Krita created items are on different layers at this time. Our text is still at 100% opacity while our box holding the text is set to 55%. In order to adjust the Krita opacity, make sure the proper layer to be adjusted is highlighted. And then adjust the opacity bar setting as needed. If you are following along, depending on the colors you have chosen, you may decide it is, it is a good idea to adjust the Krita text opacity. But we found for our example, it was not necessary. Now, we could add an image to go behind these items. We have created, but for all intensive purposes, we will just add another Krita layer and then move it to the bottom just above the background layer. Once you have all your Krita opacity settings the way you like, you can merge the layers and then export as a PNG. Here is our Krita result of that final procedure. Notice the opacity settings held with the merges. Now let's remove our so-called Krita image layer so as we can export with a clear background. Once the image layer is removed, right-click on the top Krita layer, ours being text, scroll down to Merge with Layer Below. Once all the created layer items are merged together, highlight the background layer. If it is locked, unlock it. Move the opacity setting to zero. Notice the change to a checkered board look. Put the lock back on if so desired. Then export as a PNG. Remember, while exporting, the name must be different than the other image just saved. Before closing Krita, let's minimize and compare both images to ensure our satisfaction of our creation of the images. Everything looks great. One with a solid background, the other Krita image checkerboard representing a clear background. So let us close Krita and bring them into our video editor Kadian Live. This is a bonus part of this video. Notice we also brought a video into Kadian Live so as to show representation of the use of the images. Notice our solid background created Krita image. On top of the video, on a timeline, does not show the video, whereas the clear background Krita created image does. So, we will move the video forward, placing our Krita created image in front of our video on the Canadian Live timeline. Then stretch the image for runtime length, placing a fade on the image side and then video side. But wait, something has gone wrong with the Katie and Live fade. On the video side, 
right where I had razor tooled the video, it already has a fade. So I will remove this, this Kdn Live fade and adjust to the existing fade. So now let us adjust the runtime of our credit clear background image and place it where we would like it. KDNI fades or wipes could be added if so desired. We hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1. Thank you in advance. I am out.